Hello and welcome. This is the Crouching Aussie playing some more Stellaris. Uh, we ended the last episode with this pop up. Contact lost. Spy Master Voidborn Mary reports having lost contact with her operatives on active deployment in the Felnor Destroyers. They have missed a number of their recent scheduled check ins. In accordance with standard procedure, we must decide whether or not to track them down. Yeah, let's try to find them. Waiting for our fleets to finish repositioning. My efforts pretty successful, contact has been made. Good means their current mission to acquire an asset or procure an asset uh, will continue without being cancelled. The Yastun were wrecking the Felnor and looks like it's kind of turned around now. Not there at peace. We consider their fleet pathetic and our intel seems to be quite recent as well. Iraqi Interstellar Megacorp has declared war on the Turk Commerce Guild. Oh, we're apparently the strongest voting power <laughs> in the galactic community now. Flotsam salvaged. Man, that's good for us. That is quite good. Oh. Most of our weight comes from fleet power. Why? Oh, because I have those several boosts to fleet power now. Uh, one thing I didn't touch on last episode is I finished Supremacy, which gives us access to the Supremacy policies, the War Doctrine policies, I should say. So we can choose how to handle warfare. We can do defense in depth, which is fire rate in home systems, hit and run, combat disengagement chance, emergency FTL damage risk. So emergency FTL damage risk is the amount of damage fleets take when they retreat. Combat disengagement chance. So every ship who's fighting in a battle, when they get down to low health, they will there's a chance I will be able to successfully disengage, which means that one ship, for example, a Corvette, gets down to 10% health. There's a slight chance it will run away and it'll come back once the battle's over. So that's actually quite good. Rapid deployment, ship speed and weapon range is also quite good. No retreat. You hit harder, but you're less likely to retreat. Um, our ships are expected to fight to the bitter end. We will not tolerate withdrawals. No retreats, no routes. For our fleet, there is only victory or death, not one step backwards. Oh, I'm a big fan of rapid deployment. I just love sh ship speed, because most, most of the time, either it's your fleet is big enough to win, they can just never catch their enemy, or your fleet is weaker and they get cornered both cases you either want ship speed to catch the enemy or to run away it's just so good mm -hmm. and weapon range mm -hmm. is always nice okay mm -hmm. this pack's been broken up we grow ever stronger let's reinforce that fight some more Mm -hmm. small alloys. Should be out of queue. Cruiser being built. More cruisers. Snuffed out. A spy master in the Felnor Destroyers reports. But a team of operatives have missed more check-ins. Ugh. So we can pause it and try to go on for some influence, or we can just disavow them. Uh, 
which I think I will. I'm not willing to spend influence on this. But we probably won't get noticed because we have much better encryption, I believe. Let's try getting this asset again. Technology secured. More refugees. Positronic AIs and Durasteel holes are done. Oh, battleship tech. Thank you very much. They wish to speak with us. Research station output. Yep, our ah, new subject wants an embassy. Sure thing, buddy. Look at them, they're loyal. How are these guys? They're loyal as well. We have 70 intel. We know pretty much everything that's happening in their space. It's fine. Got a bunch of colony ships moving in. After we fight this war, we probably want to just sit back and stabilize our empire. We're over the empire's pearl cap and naval capacity cap. Just kind of want those to settle down. Oh, why is that extra food consumption? That's where you come from. We have ships consuming food. Do I have to feed a skillard? Is that what is that what's happening here? I mean, I wish I could like look at its stats to see. I mean, I assume I'm feeding her, and that's what's happening with the food. But I like I can't home. examine it. <laughs> a new colony is underway. Democratic Center is what it is, apparently. I'm going to clear some blockers as well on this planet. I'm actually going to punch out with this. I'm going to manually assign it to an agri world to get more farmer output. And I'm going to prioritize the angler job. A new colony is underway! Land ho! A new colony is underway! Do you think I'm starting a new colony, guys? <laughs> is there a pop growth policy or did they remove that? They must have removed Loots that. from enemy wrecks seized. I only have the basic trade policy, jeez. To end your threat to the galaxy. We're going to war. Send the weaker fleet to that system. Send you and Skilla into here. Can I assign? No, can't assign a leader. <laughs> Jeez. Damage output. Dragon's breath. Wing scores. Definitely need a screenshot of this. See if I can time it with the laser. Skill is on our side now. I 
we'll send Skilla down to the Fahir system. And Ash will send her down to the Hexarm system. Uh, the boisterous buccaneers will go to support her, while the Rakushus Ponderers will take the secondary systems. We'll probably fight some of these other Leviathans now that I've got her on my side. And might be what I end up doing. Yes, we've been trying to pierce the shroud. After days of being locked in a hypnotic trance, our psychics in the conclave of telepaths have finally managed to open a brief gateway into the shroud. Now that we have established an initial psionic link, we will be able to access the shroud through the contacts menu in the future to make any kind of meaningful forays into this realm and meet the beings who dwell there. We will likely have to make use of special psionic meters to extend our reach. This will consume a tremendous amount of energy. So, 1000 energy to reach into the shroud. The Shroud, it is unbelievingly strange and unsettling, but also immediately familiar. Anyone with psionic powers will have seen this place in their dreams, though they likely did not know it at the time. We linger now at the precipice of this realm, not far from the empty void of the in-between that serves as a boundary between here and normal space, or what we could call the real world. To venture deeper into the Shroud will require great effort on the part of our telepaths, as well as a large amount of energy. We must not dally even now, uh, as we are being watched. Our landing party has reached the enemy shores. The concept of time as we know it is alien to this part of the Shroud. What can seem like centuries here may equal mere hours or even minutes in the real world. If one knows where to look, it is even possible to glimpse into the future. Precognition is one of the surest paths to madness for a telepath, so we must use caution. Let's meditate for a moment. We can just leave, but we'll meditate. There's a medium chance we'll succeed. And we have, because we've got the green text here. A limited precognitive connection to the shroud can be maintained without risking insanity, but the massive influx of probability data is too overwhelming to be of much practical use. Still, if a digital interface could be devised to interpret this data, it could potentially be applied to improve the performance of our ship, our ship's combat computers. Precognition interfaces is an option. I mean, that's so good, I kind of want to... I've never actually seen that tech before, and I've played Telephones before. I've got a new faction. Okay. Uh, right, let's finish Manifest Destiny. Who's our new faction? The Eternal Vigilant Center. I've got one pop. <laughs> they are the Xenophobes. Unrestricted Wars. Oh, turning off Unrestricted Wars will make them happy. Don't be in aggressive wars. They're happy with us not being in a federation. They're unhappy about the migration treaties we signed. They're happy with non-aggression packs. They're unhappy we're at war. And they're unhappy we're not using isolationist diplo stance. Well, you know what? I don't really care about you. We could try to suppress them. <laughs> It costs us one influence every month to do this, which is why I'm not going to do it, but it means pots are less likely to join. It's fine to have some xenophobes in your space. In fact, um, normally by the end of the game you have all the ethics in your space. Take that system. 
Uh, let's take one of our construction ships. Where are you? Uh, you can build stations there. There. Then I want you to come down and build that research station. That. You build a station there. So I have opened a new branch. Actually, that's something we haven't checked in a while. Read this in a second. Um, how are the branch officers looking? So, oh, I've got private researchers, which are just giving us clerk jobs, more clerk jobs, more clerk jobs. Yeah, very nice. Okay, strange reports. Oh yes, we've been talking about this observation post where someone went missing recently. One of our scientists went missing. We were seeing strange reports from our observers above Arasmodon Ar too. One of the native kingdoms have rallied under mysterious religious fear. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Figure, and we have seen evidence of them using advanced technology beyond their current tech level. Could this be related to our missing scientists? <sighs> Someone's doing things they shouldn't be doing. <laughs> Our landing party has oh. reached enemy shores. It's funny. Our landing party has crushed the enemy. And the Marcusha's plunderers are going to be at full strength, so that's impressive. Uh, I mean I've got no borders, should I keep trying to push through? I don't think so. Uh, so as soon as you take the Trium... That new content Trium system, and then meet up the skiller. And send these guys home. We grow ever stronger. And... Turn this into a trade station. There. there should be enough to get to there. Oh, there's a guy world here. It's considered a holy world. Interesting. What about these other worlds? Are they considered holy? No. Um, th so there's an achievement as a spiritualist empire to colonize X number of holy worlds. Doing this will anger a nearby fallen empire. I don't think I've met any fallen empires. So, who would it actually anger? Unless it's these people? Oh, well, actually, with Skiller, it might be time to try to unearth the Rubricator. I'm just gonna leave that guy well for now. We'll think about it later. Um, another, someone left another code key lying around. 8,000, 7,000, 13,000, and we've got Skiller. No, let's bring this fleet back. I'm not going to make no time. Never mind. Uh, let's continue home. Asset acquired, finally. Gained a bureaucrat. You can never trust those bureaucrats. Research complete. Please, espionage. Let's see if we can steal some tech. Why not? Have the bureau cat help with that as well. Uh, develop plasma accelerators. Doesn't look like they're coming to fight me. Looks like they're just travelling around back to their space. Oh, we could do with these caravanners. Oh, we don't have enough coins. Um, let's just purchase a bunch of coins because we've got plenty of money. And let's open a reliquary. And it's empty. It's fine. Gotta wait a while. You can get something good out of the reliquaries. Oh, got the game paused. Yep, build some stuff. 
Invasions. We feel in some of these gaps where we get a pretty big logo, and we, if, it, if you've ever played a Stellaris game, you know how strong someone is by how big their logo is and how, as so how big their name is on the map. Uh. Are you prime? Oh yes, this got terraformed into a guy world. So it's actually getting a lot of people quite quickly, so we're going to build a bunch of city districts. And yeah, we're planning on having a bit of a science world because of that engineering. Our landing party has reached enemy shores. Invading planet. Victory! Drink up, my loyal crew! Three, four. Yeah, let's make this system the capital of a sector. And we're going to assign a governor to it. This dude. I'm actually going to automate these planets. Just automate. Automate. And let's just like chuck in 100 energy credits and 10 minerals per month. That's fine. So they can do crap. Just going to ignore those planets in general. Running low on minerals, interesting. Uh, apparently, some new resolutions on the floor. Military Readiness Act uh, affects anyone who's using less than half their naval capacity are in breach of galactic law. More fleet, more voting power from the fleet. Strength, more naval capacity. Yeah, we'll actually support that one. And they want to repeal the current military. Collective waste management. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm actually running on minerals. Need to be more SCVs running on minerals. Uh, that was a bad one. Oh, because I'm mostly colonizing with some lethoid hops who eat minerals and not food. That's why our mineral stockpile is taking that dip most likely. I want to build a energy grid here. system will definitely be the Great Reef. Although, uh, mind you, I shouldn't pull them back yet. <laughs> Should leave them there for now. And before I forget, let's turn this into a starport. Booty. Yep, unlock battleships. Uh, let's get powered exoskeletons. Flotsam salvaged. These were plasma accelerators, yep. Let's push for zero point reactors. Down there. 
Let's take a look. Oh. Let's build. Uh, I don't have enough minerals. Let's actually build some administrative offices. We grow ever and stronger. It's cheap to buy, so we're also going to buy some. So we can build a district. So, district. Yeah. Intellectual booty. We grow ever stronger. That's fine. Put some crime on some of these. A new port to call home. Powered exoskeletons. Very nice. Let's get deep core mining. How's our research looking? Yeah, just over 300 for each category. Not too bad. Ah, yes, we were stealing research. Single operative hid within the goods entrance of a remote research facility waiting to be carried past a number of clearly inadequate Felnol security measures. An unwitting Felnol has placed our operative within easy reach of a terminal for their central repository. A complex series of electronic mines and bluffs have exposed the research database for just long enough for us to make our move. We can get some progress on dangerous wildlife removal. We can get a backdoor. Which gives us plus ten percent research speed for two years, not too bad. As well as the tech. Or we can sacrifice our asset. To gain two tech progresses. I think we'll go the back door. Oh, let's get another asset. Oh, we lost our asset anyway. Interesting. Uh, yeah, let's get some more. Are you done with us yet? A new port to call home. Yep. Nice quick war there. And we're going to turn this into a sector. I will manage this sector. Let's get some gene clinics going. We grow ever stronger. Clinics. Take that dude, put him in charge. Okay, let's unearth the replicator. We'll get to work on it. Uh, we'll send Skiller to protect the system. And we'll send both of those fleets back home. We grow ever stronger. I think we're going to end this video soon, but first we're going to give all of our ships a quick pass over in terms of tech. Yes, I'm happy with that. Yep, happy with that. And I'm happy with that. Yep, happy. Oh, don't have any upgraded point defense tech yet. Uh, yep, happy. Uh, yep, happy. Okay, let's look at our battleships. Or am I just going to run two battleship variants? No, I said I'd usually run three. But you might just run two. For now. For now, for now, for now. Um, I'm actually going to go broadside bow.
the reactor core. Once again I'm having this issue where it's not letting me save the fleet. Yeah we'll call it the mineral and we'll delete the fleet. Let's design a new battleship. We've got a hangar bow, carrier core, and the launch stern. Fledgling Dragon. Costs 80 living minerals, 400 gas, 400 crystals. Jeez. That's built. Climb that system. Climb that outpost. Intellectual booty. Good research to Dell Tech, but we'll go mineral isolation. Try to get that mineral count up again. Okay, this is where we're going to call the episode. Hope you all enjoyed watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all those fun things, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>